Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a first year at UWC USA. Right now I'm home for winter break and I just survived my first semester at UWC. So today I wanted to go over the application process, everything you need to know, and ultimately what you need to do to get into UWC. So there's two main things they're looking for. Academics and extracurriculars. As far as academics go, they want to make sure that you challenged yourself in high school, you took some difficult courses, and that you got decent grades the entire time you were there. For me, I went to a US public high school, I took some AP courses, and I got mostly A's and B's in my classes. The second thing, and most importantly what they're looking for, is your extracurriculars. So as far as your extracurriculars go, they want to make sure that you're an interesting person outside of just your academics that you do something that makes you a bigger person, that helps your community, something that you're passionate about. You can just show anything like that on your essays. For some people it's music, for some people it's art, for some people it might be theater or drama. For me, it was film and photography. I spent a lot of time in my high school film club. We went to some competitions together, we spent lots of time getting ready for competitions, preparing films, learning new techniques, and it was something that I was really passionate about and still am. So you need to show that on your essays. You need to make it clear that you do something outside of your academics. You, For me, I like to travel as well with my family. And I think that all of that really helped make my essays a little bit stronger and helped to make my application a little bit brighter and make me a more acceptable candidate. I'm not sure how it is for other selection committees, but for the UWC USA selection committee, there's three main steps to the application process. There was first like a written portion, you had essays and questions and things you needed to write and answer. The second part was a Skype interview where you like sit down, you kind of have a formal interview for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then the third part was you go to campus and there's like a weekend of interviews where you show up to campus. Each time they eliminated people. So it started off, there's like 500 people who did the essays. Then there's like 250 people who got Skype interviews. Then after that, there was 100 people who showed up to campus and ultimately 50 people got the Davis scholarship that I got. For the essay writing portion, you need to make sure that your essays have good grammar, you didn't mess up on the spelling, and then overall you just need to show like what you're interested in, what your passions are, tell some funny stories about yourself, make them bright and interesting to the person who's sitting down and just reading hundreds and hundreds of essays over and over. You gotta make yourself stick out a little bit. So tell a funny story about your family. I told a little bit about our travels. I talked about my grandpa. He's someone who's very inspiring to me. I was with him a lot as I was growing up and he taught me lots of things. He taught me his life philosophies. He taught me a little bit about mechanics and he just helped me make myself a bigger person overall. There will be essay writing prompts and things that you need to talk about, but just show your true personality and make sure that your character comes out in your essays and make sure that they're funny, they're interesting, and that they're not going to be just glum and boring to someone who's reading essays all day. As far as the online interview goes, don't worry about it too much. There's nothing really you can do to prepare for it. Just show up, be yourself, and try your best not to be nervous. I was pretty nervous during my interview. I think it showed a little bit, but it turned out to be alright. So the interview was about 45 to 50 minutes long. I was with a selection committee member and an alumni from the school, and they asked me mostly like deep philosophical questions. They would ask me, I think one of my questions was, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it and how would you use it? And if you had any superpower, what would it be and what would you do with it? Those are like some quick examples of the kind of questions they're gonna ask you. There was a 15 minute period where my parents could come in, they could ask questions about the school, ask questions about the application process, anything, and they would just answer it and do their best to help you out. The part of the application process that I think deviates the most from the other selection committees was the Davis Scholars Finalist Weekend. It was a weekend in which a hundred of us Davis Scholars showed up to campus and we did games, activities, group discussions, and the US selection committee walked around with clipboards and took notes on us the entire time. They were trying to gauge our personality, our character, like how we did with new situations, how we did with new students, what points we made in the conversations and the group discussions that we were having. And it was a little bit nerve wracking because they're not really involved. They're just kind of standing back and taking notes about you the entire time. But overall, it turned out to be fine. Um, it was really cool to get to meet all of the students who are still on campus. We got to sit down and have a lunch with them, um, get to know them a little bit better, like ask a lot of questions about the school, get to see what the UWC community is really like and what it's like to go to school there. We got to tour the dorms, we got to go to the different classrooms, meet some of the teachers, um, and just kind of get to see what the UWC experience is overall in a day. It was a very long and stressful day, 
But in the end, it was super fun, it was really memorable, and it was really cool. My friend Izzy made a video about it. If you want to see a little bit more about it, I'm going to link that down below. But overall, that was the final part of our application. About two or three months later, I got a call from the selection committee saying that I was admitted and that I had been offered a spot at UWC USA. And that was the final part of my application. So that's how I found out I got in. And that's what the final weekend was like a little bit. Some final tips for your application are just to be yourself, show your true personality, be willing to be open to new cultures, things you might not completely agree with, because there's going to be lots of times at UWC in which you're going to be in new situations, doing something you might not be comfortable with. At the very beginning of the semester, you go on a backpacking trip. Lots of people who had never done this before were super uncomfortable in the outdoors, but they made it through it. So they're really just looking for someone who's open-minded, they're accepting of the UWC values, and they're willing to do what it takes to be at this amazing school. I don't regret anything, I love the school, and so far it's been an amazing semester and I think it's going to continue that way. Awesome, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. For now, good luck on your applications, and I hope it goes well, good luck.